am excited for Alien Isolation, but I'm scared of horror games. This reason on its own made me start wondering, why am I scared of horror games? It could be because I'm scared of being alone in the dark, or maybe that I hate the idea of being chased. Or even spiders, because, yeah, fuck spiders. But no, I did start thinking about what we consider to be horror games and why they are scary to people like me. Survival horror games are becoming more mainstream and having more money put into them. This can be beneficial to us consumers, who like getting our thrills from things that go bump in the night, but why? The horrors in these games can't hurt us, but these games succeed at so many things we might take for granted, AAA or not. Now what scares the ever-loving piss out of me in games like Amnesia is the sense of atmosphere and tension that's presented to me. But what else adds to this is the music. Sound can add so much to remind you that you are not alone. The noise of footsteps, or a noise in the distance, can make you jump to so many conclusions in your mind that when you do encounter that force you've been trying to outrun for the majority of the time, then that can be the scariest part. And it makes you want to outrun it to continue. But sometimes the real horror of the game can be in the story itself. Take Resident Evil! The early games weren't scary. Well, they were to me, I was pretty young at the time. But it was effectively an action game. But the horror of those games came from the story itself. Take Wesker for example, or William Birkin, like two, two of the main villains from the first couple of games. These two people were willing to throw lives away of their friends and co-workers to get results, effectively, on the name of some sick and twisted goal. Now that is scary, imagine if people you knew was willing to do that in this day and age, well, let's not talk about that at great length. But still, sometimes the simplest mechanics work the best in horror games. Again, going back to Amnesia or Outlast, these games give you a sense of helplessness that you can't win with sheer force, unlike most games these days that just effectively give you a gun and tell you to go nuts, and they describe it as horror games. Now I'm not knocking Dead Space, because Dead Space is a good game, but it's just a jump scare game, whereas a game like Amnesia, where you know you can't fight, and you know you can't win, that's scary. And when you're walking down a dark corridor late, like, and you're playing late at night, well, I have never been so frightened of a game, and I know these things can't hurt me, but still, the sense of helplessness that you feel, it's pure horror at its best form. Now th this gives you a more realistic scenario, and why would you run away from a force you don't fully comprehend, or do you overcome your own fears and face it? Either way, survival horror games are currently a genre that has several different meanings at the moment to whatever different people want to take it as, but I like the path that the genre's taken and the risks that some developers are willing to take to push the boundaries and make a better quality content for their consumers. Anyway, right now, at this point in time, it's worth to be scared out of my wits so I can keep seeing things that scare me that I want to play. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and let me know if you agree with me. Plus. I want to know what you guys think, so yeah, please let me know in the comments.